Here is the iBoard kit. The iBoard itself is a solid piece. I don't know well you can see that of aluminum. It looks like an extrusion with uh, plastic caps on it. It came with six brackets. Two of them are shown here out of the bags. One side and then the other side. Here's the hardware that comes with it. I'm not planning on using that. It comes with a bunch of plastic washers. These washers are supposed to go in between these brackets and the frame of the vehicle. Uh, my kit didn't come with them so I had to contact the manufacturer to get some sent to me, which they did. Uh, here are the T-nuts that slide in the bottom of the aluminum extrusion in those two slots and I'm planning on using uh, stainless hardware that I purchased. I'm not going to go over an installation video. It looks as simple as can be. Here's a, one of the brackets that comes with a kit uh, for my particular truck, 2018 F-150. They're all identical. Uh, there's three bolts per bracket. They give you four slots. And I'm assuming the left-hand side you use the lower two, and perhaps the left one with the right-hand side you would use the right one. Uh, they're powder-coated. There's a little bit of pitting on this. Heavy steel, as you can see, seems pretty darn solid. They come with uh, black hardware. I'm not sure what the coating is. Uh, they're ordinary steel with the coating on it, like I say, black, apparently to match. Maybe they're powder coated, maybe it's something else. And they give you uh, just enough, so don't lose any of them. I'm considering using uh, stainless steel hardware. I went to the hardware store. I had to buy the pieces onesie twosie, so it was kind of expensive. I think I spent about $30 on stainless hardware. I'm taking the time to coat the inside of the bracket surface with a uh, weather barrier tape made by 3M. To give you an idea what it's like, I'll take a scrap here, peel it back. It's very, very sticky, so putting it together is kind of tricky, but it's really tough stuff doesn't tear very easily, doesn't puncture very easily. Uh, I think it'll be uh, at least a barrier between the powder coated finish of the bracket and the truck body right here, which is aluminum. Main reason I'm planning on using stainless comes from the racks I have on my old truck. This hardware uh, used to be black oxide. And you can see uh, if enough years go by, this is probably 10 years old. They start to rust. I'm really hoping these running boards are going to last at least the lifetime of the truck, which I'm hoping is going to be, you know, 15 years, maybe more. Here's the first board installed. Uh, nothing's tightened down, so it's still kind of floating there. Uh, these can slide all the way into there, and you can see the edges of the brackets poking out there, and there, and the one in the front. Or like I say, you can pull them out to around there. You can also slide them forward or backwards as far as you want. Well, here they are installed. Uh, those are my footprints on them, so I already tested them. It took me about an hour and a half to install it, and that included a lot of the setup and teardown time, putting everything away. And I went slow and steady on the first one, meaning the second one went in a lot quicker. Again, I like the fact that they didn't stick out too far. I kind of patterned them off of the Nerf tubes that I had on my old truck here. I kind of like that look. And to give you a little show here, that's kind of what it looks like as you climb in. Easy enough to put your foot here. I like the fact that they're kind of clean, kind of simple looking. I like that they're totally black. I don't have a lot of chrome. On my truck, the door handles are black. Uh, I didn't really want anything shiny. I also like the fact they're solid aluminum. I'm hoping they're going to last a long time. In contrast, these Nerf tubes, this is the second set that I put on this truck, and you can see they're already blistering in there. And the reason why I bought the same tubes for the second set was I was hoping I could reuse the brackets and make the second set's installation a little easier. So it turns out it didn't work that way, so I ended up making a not-so-hot decision twice on this truck. 
and I'm hoping that these last pretty much the life of the truck and I keep my vehicles a long time so I'll keep my fingers crossed. I went with the narrow one, the four inch one because I just thought the six inch would just stick out too far from the truck. If you come back this way you'll see that they do stick out a little bit beyond the wheels. That's okay. I cheated mine back a little bit. The front edge is a little bit behind the front seam of the door and that means that the back edge extends beyond the back door a little bit. So there are my eye boards. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe learned something. Um, feel free to leave any comments and uh, thanks for stopping by.